I'm sorry I'm late, Tim. I had to go to the police station about Kylie and Jason. Not now, no. Sean. We need to go in five minutes. What's the matter with him today? It's Ellie. Ellie? She's gone. Gone? To the States. To the States? She left yesterday. You see, yesterday was Ellie's birthday. Tim, Gary, Julia and I went back to my place for a birthday drink for Ellie. Ellie wasn't there, but there was a message from her on the answer phone. She said that she had a new job in San Francisco and, well, goodbye. What did Tim do? He just walked out of the flat. He didn't say a word. It was all very sad and, well, embarrassing. We didn't know what to do. No wonder he's in a bad mood. But it's not all bad news, because Julia's my new flatmate now. Come on, Sean. Have a little day. Have a nice day. It's a lot. Cup of tea, Mr Drake. Um, no, thank you, Rebecca. I'd better be off now. Thanks, Dad. Oh, don't mention it, love. Bye. 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 Bye, Rebecca. Welcome to Wellington Gardens. <gasps> I still can't believe it. Why don't we have a party? A sort of welcome to Julia thing? Oh, yes. Great idea. When? Next Friday. We can invite some of the neighbours and everyone from work. Everyone, even Frederick. <laughs> don't worry. He's in South Africa for the rest of the week. So who can we invite? Oh, what's this? It's an invitation to our party. A party, eh? When is it? It's next Friday, the 18th. Tim, here. Great. I like parties. We can't come. But we've got that programme to finish. Can't we do it another time? It's Julia's... No! Oh, well. Hi, Tim. It's party time. No, it isn't. OK, I think we can take a look at that now. Last year, Richard Bennett gave up his job in a London bank and decided to walk to the South Pole. Why did you give up your job, Richard? Well, I didn't like my job. And I had a lot of problems at home. I just wanted to get away from it all. I wanted to find myself, if you like. So you left England in August. What did you do first? I flew to Buenos Aires in Argentina. From there, I travelled to the Antarctic by boat. When did you actually start your journey to the Pole? Well, I had to wait for a few weeks because the weather was very bad. So I didn't set off until the end of September. Did anyone go with you? No, I was on my own. And did you reach the South Pole? No, I didn't. After about 300 kilometres, I fell into a huge crevasse. You know, a, a big hole. About 10 metres deep. Were you hurt? Yes, I broke my arm. I couldn't climb out. What did you do? Well, fortunately, my sledge fell into the hole with me. So I had food, and I had my radio, too. And I called for help. How long were you there before they found you? Five days. There was a bad storm, you see. I thought it was the end. But then suddenly I heard voices and dogs. I shouted and shouted, and faces appeared above me. What did you think about while you were in the crevasse? I thought about my life back in England. And the funny thing was that all my problems at home and at work weren't important anymore. I just wanted to be with my family and friends again. Life's very short, you know. 
You have to enjoy it while you can. Thank you very much. Can I just look at that last part again? I thought about my life back in England. And the funny thing was that all my problems at home and at work weren't important anymore. I just wanted to be with my family and friends again. Life's very short, you know. You have to enjoy it while you can. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want a cup of coffee? Tim? Sorry, what did you say? Would you like a coffee? No, thanks, Sean. We've got a party to go to.